Harrowing data released by the Bank of England has shown that inflation is due to skyrocket in the UK with dramatic effect. The Bank of England BO, sent a stark warning on Thursday that the UK risks a double whammy of both a recession and inflation rising above 10%. It raised interest rates to their highest since 2009, hiking them by a quarter of a percentage point to 1%. This was at the same time as the pound fell by more than a cent against the US dollar to its lowest level since mid-2020, below $1.24. The Bose gloomy forecast caught investors by surprise as it aggressively cut bets on the central bank hiking rates. Central banks are now scrambling to cope with a surge in inflation that they described as only transitory when it began with the post-pandemic reopening of the economy, before Russia's invasion of Ukraine sent energy prices spiraling. The Bo said it was also worried about the impact of renewed COVID-19 lockdowns in China which threatened to hit supply chains and exacerbate existing inflation pressures. Data taken from the bow shows a huge inflation spike just around the corner, before it drops off and balances out from around midway through next year. Analysis says Consumer Price Index CPI, inflation is expected to rise slightly above 10% on average in the fourth quarter of 2022. It states. The significant majority of that expected increase reflects the rise of 54% in household energy prices in April and the projected increase of around 40% when the off-gem price is next reset in October, and, to a lesser extent, higher food and goods prices, given the sharp rises in global agricultural commodity and energy prices and renewed supply chain disruption following the invasion of Ukraine. Goods and energy prices are projected to account for four-fifths of the overshoot in CP inflation, relative to target, at the peak when the contribution of energy prices to CPI inflation is expected to rise to four percentage points. The price cap mechanism means that it will take some time for changes in wholesale gas and electricity prices to be reflected in UK retail utility prices.